What's up guys, it's Widgeon TV here. Today we're going to be going in depth with a long awaited perk for many of you, and that is armor piercing rounds. And I would like to thank everybody for the continued support of my channel. It has been growing faster than it ever has before. So I hope you guys continue to hit the like button and continue to subscribe. It helps out my small channel a lot. Like I said, this is a highly requested perk from people of Reddit and of YouTube. A lot of people are complaining that this perk is pretty worthless and they're wondering what it really does. Well, I'm here today to put all these rumors to rest. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about four different things. PVE, PVP, range, and a new segment I'm calling Bungie Please. But without further ado, let's roll PVE. So armor piercing rounds in PVE is more a story of what it cannot do rather than what it can do. So here's what the perk description reads. These iridium core rounds over penetrate targets. Their mass slows down weapon handling. I have proved several times that handling is a non-factor for these kind of perks. So let's scratch that off right now. So basically the rest of this perk is exactly what it sounds like. Your bullets will keyhole through any enemies in its path. Now don't get me wrong, it does its job very well. It maintains full damage even when going through multiple enemies, which is great, but unfortunately this just isn't that useful of a perk. I mean sure, every once in a while you can get a kill with it, but overall it's just not that great of a feature. I wanted to see what else the armor piercing rounds could pierce, so the first thing that came to my mind was the phalanx shield. So I took a stroll over to the dreadnought, I found some phalanx and I shot them. And look at that, nothing for my scout rifle and... Nothing for my sniper rifle. What is going on here? And next I thought about the Hive Knight shields, and after shooting them again, also no results. Now this made me pretty disappointed, but I'll get into my disappointments later in the video. Next, I thought it would act like Full Metal Jacket. Now Full Metal Jacket was a perk in several Call of Duty games that helped you shoot through walls. After testing this, I was surprised to see that there was no penetration in Destiny at all. I'll add that to my disappointment list. But anyway, let's move on to PvP. In PvP, armor piercing rounds do the same thing that they do in PvE. It lets you shoot through multiple enemies. But there is one difference between PvP and PvE, and it's not necessarily positive for armor piercing rounds. And it's that in PvP, you can actually already get a collateral, which is when you shoot through one person's head and you kill the person behind them with a sniper rifle. And you can already do this in PvP, even without armor piercing rounds. But there is one caveat to that, and it's that you have to be at some sort of weird angle to pull this off. Because I've seen it happen. I've seen in other people's videos, and I've even done it myself a few times. I think a lot of you will be surprised that you cannot shoot through somebody's head straight on. So again, a very little change for PvP. Now let's move on to the range. The range was really easy to calculate, but I thought it was important to add. When you highlight the perk, it shows that there is an extra range increase. So a quick test shows that the range increase is about 2 feet for scout rifles, and then it decreases to about a foot with guns that have lower starting range. Overall, it's a pretty small change, but armor piercing rounds does boost your range even more than high caliber rounds does, so I mean it's kind of useful. You never know if that extra bit of damage from that extra bit of range is going to be enough to kill your enemy. It could save your life one day. Alright, so the next segment is Bungie Please. Alright, so I think this section is the most important of all of them. This is just where I'm going to talk about how I think Bungie can buff the perk and make it better. So Bungie, please, I really want to like this perk, and honestly it has so much potential. But first, I think they need to make it so that you can shoot through the Phalanx and the Knight's shields. I think this is an obvious one. Explosive rounds can do it, I think so should armor piercing rounds. Next up, I think there should be some wall penetration in Destiny. I know there used to be some back in year 1, but people ended up exploiting it. But today is a different Destiny than that. And honestly, I think they should bring it back. And then I think they should treat armor piercing rounds just like Full Metal Jacket from Call of Duty. It'll help it do more damage when shooting through walls. And in PvE, I wish that armor piercing rounds did more damage to shields. More damage than normal, at least. Just like explosive rounds, that does an extra 50% damage to shields. I think armor piercing rounds should do something like that. That would help it live up to its armor piercing rounds name. If you add up all these things and add them all to armor piercing rounds, I think people would start taking armor piercing rounds 
serious as a perk. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of people think that this is just a waste perk. But I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys running armor piercing rounds on any of your guns? Do you like any of my ideas about buffing the perk? Leave a comment down below. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, guys. What's up, guys? It's Wujin TV here. Today, I'm going to be bringing you my top five exotics for PvE activities. I'm going to be scoring these exotics 